if it was an idea that somebody did that I created an idea off of something that they did, I don't give a damn what it is. I'm going to say that. Hey, boy, I got this from little shot over here. Hey, I got this from this person. Hey, when I thought about this, I got this from this person. It's okay to take something that somebody do and create an idea from it. It's nothing wrong with that. And if I did that, I'm going to I'm I'm shout that out. You see what I'm saying? So if, if I got lean with it, rock with it from Fat Joe, I would I would say that. You know what I'm saying? What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right. Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. Now, what I was saying out of love, speaking on Boosie and Rod Wave, I was saying, and I get it. If somebody hit you up and told you, yo, Fat Joe's dissing you. He's saying you, you robbed this song, that, that, that he should sue you. I get it. If it comes from left field, you got the right to be upset because you never looked for this or, or you didn't even know. But I'm saying that even when it was number one in the world, these records, I was cheering from them. And I was happy they were making money. Not once in my life did I think of suing someone. Not once in my life did I think of suing someone. So this ain't about suing people. This ain't, and Fat Joe, he not the OG that delusional. I am the algorithm. I am the algorithm. What does that mean, Joe? Anything moving comes through here. Any type of movement. If Jada's on fire, if Jada Pinkett's on fire and the whole world talking about her, she come see Fat Joe to sit down and clarify. Because you, the people, know he's, what's up to my brother Common? What's up, Common? I love you. You, the people, know he's authentic. Joe, a real one. Joe Real when he's authentic, he not going to lie. I love you, comment. And so but she'll come. I don't want to get into it too much. If Palestine Israel is, 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 is the biggest shit in the world, I get invited to the vice president's house. Let's talk about I am the algorithm. These other guys are pretending. They ain't never been real like me. They never, they never did this. I'm be honest with you. Now, I put out a record lean back, the joint, 47 weeks, number one. You know what it was if you was alive when lean back was here. You couldn't go to a club without 45 minutes straight of lean back on. And it was number one in the country, meaning it was number one in Atlanta as well. Okay? Lock that door there because I don't know why we hear the voice. So, um... That means if it's number one in America for 47 weeks, it's number one in Atlanta too, right? And so the, the brother says, he hears that Fat Joe says something about him. He gets upset. He tells me how he's from the South. He's from the Bankhead. He's from this and that. It's cool, brother. Nobody was ever talking to you about gangster stuff. Nobody was there. In fact, when I did think you know, I inspired your songs and you was making all that money. I never try to approach you or sue you. I'm not the guy. If I sue you, it's like Jesus is on earth, right? So now, the brother say he never heard Fat Joe. It wasn't popping. You got to understand, Lean Back was out before these other songs I talked about. Lean back is paranoia, pandemonium, on smoke, every radio station, every two minutes. You could believe that maybe you didn't get inspired, but sometimes subliminally, you might get inspired. You might subliminally, you don't even know that you inspired. Now, what does that mean? It means my people don't dance. They just pull up their pants and do the rock away. Now, lean back. Lean back. I said, my people don't dance. They just pull up their pants and do the rock away. Now lean back. Lean back. 
Lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock with it, lean. My people don't dance, they just pull up their pants and do the rock away. Now lean back, lean back, lean with it, rock with it, lean with it, rock. Yeah, it's on a dirty south beat, but I'm not delusional. Yes, sir. Let's talk about it. Let's motherfucking talk about it. Let's motherfucking talk about it. Let's motherfucking talk about it. Niggas want to be important and shit. Niggas want to goddamn niggas want to make their self important. Niggas want to niggas, niggas want to place their self in your life. Niggas want shit that they do to be important to you. And despite when you tell a nigga it ain't, he want to goddamn force it on you. Hey, man, I got some shit to say. You feel me? I got some shit to motherfucking say, man. You feel me? You feel me? Lie to your own niggas, boy. See, I'm going to tell you what happened. When you get these hip-hop niggas, niggas don't be know who the fuck niggas be. Niggas don't know who niggas be. They don't. They don't know who niggas be. Cause clearly, Joe, Fat Joe can't really know me like that. If he did, he wouldn't, he wouldn't even say it now. He should've just left that shit alone where it be. Get what? You ain't have to, he ain't have to get no response. You ain't have to respond. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you fucked up. You felt some type of way. You voiced your opinion. Nigga, it, it, and then your opinion wasn't in the voice how you thought it was gonna be. And you felt like you had to say something else, but you're making yourself look stupid, dog. You know what I'm saying? But hey, man, I get it. You from New York, y'all think everybody, everybody do everything come from y'all niggas. If, let y'all niggas tell it. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to my New, New York niggas, the, the th authentic ones, though. You no, know, shout out to Jada for sure. Shout out to Buster. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jewels. You know what I'm saying? But now I got something to say. Nigga, tag all the blogs. Tag don't make this shit. Tell them don't make this shit. Tag the blog. Tell them don't make this shit. Tell them do not motherfucking make this shit. I promise, don't make this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fight that blunt up. Cause anybody who know me, all right? Or anybody who know anybody who know me or been around me, I don't do all that motherfucking lying, nigga. I don't do all that capping. If you know me, I don't give a fuck how long you been knowing me, my nigga. If you know me for doing any capping, any lying, any motherfucking flexing, nigga, nigga, let me know right here, nigga. Put a cap, put a cap, put a cap up there. If you know me personally, from I don't give a fuck when you knew me. If you know me personally, on any type of level, from from a little league, from six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old to teenage years to twenties to thirties. If you know me any at all, nigga, if anybody know me, be a cap ass nigga, my nigga. Put a cap up this bitch. You feel me, nigga? Ain't no cap on what I say, my nigga. I'm probably one of the richest nigga around this motherfucker. I'm a one percenter, nigga, in the world. Not just Atlanta, nigga. I'm a one percent in the world, nigga. I say what I'm, I say, what I say, and I'm gonna stand on. I'm gonna do that shit. Ain't no pussy, ain't no hoe, ain't no bitch. It's real nigga around here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't know what these niggas be used to. These Joe, Fat Joe must be used to the internet shit. It gotta be. It gotta be used to the internet shit. You know what I'm saying? He gotta be used to the internet shit, cause I don't do all the internet shit. You know what I'm saying? Get what? I'm a real nigga, all right? If it was an idea that somebody did, that I created an idea off of something that they did, I don't give a damn what it is. I'm going to say that. Hey, boy, I got this from little shout over here. Hey, I got this from this person. Hey, when I thought about this, I got this from this person. It's okay to take something that somebody do and create an idea from it. It's nothing wrong with that. And if I did that, I'm going I'm to I'm shout that out. You see what I'm saying? So if, if I got lean with it, rock with it from Fat Joe, I would I would say that. You know what I'm saying? And then Fat Joe get on here tomorrow. So, well, subconsciously, uh, subconsciously, you know, uh, uh, lean back and do the rock away. Man, get the fuck out of here, my dog. Like, come on, my nigga. Like, ain't no fucking subconscious shit, nigga. 
Stop trying to place yourself in what I had going on, nigga. All right? Stop trying to place yourself in what a nigga had going on. My nigga ain't no subconscious shit, nigga. Hell is he talking about? Talking about subconsciously. And why Fat Joe was talking about all the people that he could have sued? First, he should have said the motherfuckers that could have sued his ass. You talking about lean? I know a million niggas from Texas who've been saying lean in their music. All right? Lean on me. Lean on me. When you're not strong. Oh, you ain't say they could have sued you. Do the Rockaway. Rockaway is a Jamaican dance, my dog. The Rockaway is a Jamaican dance, my dog. You didn't say they could have sued you. But you're talking about what you could have sued, though. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I don't be understanding. But you ain't said you got your idea from them. But you but you saying everything that they saying. You see what I'm saying? I don't really understand it. But if you let Joe tell it, he going to keep telling y'all that we got it from him. I ain't going to say we. I'm going to say I. Cause let me just fill y'all in. Fat Joe. Uh, said that, and then he put a picture up on of pimping in my group saying, "God damn, uh, uh, lean back, Fat Joe." Saying when he said something about Fat Joe on the song, he gave Fat Joe the shout out on the lean with it. All right, so let me let me fill y'all in on some. All right, I recorded lean with it, rock with it in two thousand and four. All right, in two thousand in two thousand and four, I recorded lean with it, rock with it. Lean with a rock with it got released in 2006. All right, the version that y'all hear Lean with a rock with it is not the original Lean with a rock with it. All right, the franchise boys wasn't even on Lean with it rock with it at all. All right, at all, they weren't even on the song at all. Lean with a rock with it was the number one song on the radio in Atlanta, and franchise boys wasn't even on it. Now, the well, only thing they like me remixes out, and we had the number one song in the country. <laughs> Lean with it was still the number one song in Atlanta. So when we had the deal, and we got number one, we did the video on Bow Wow the Brat JD. Boom, it go big. JD asked, "What else do we have?" At this time, like I'm telling you, Lean with it is already on the radio, dog. All right. And matter of fact, Grand Street V103 still plays the original version of Lean with it, rock with it, not the one with the franchise boys on. It. All right. After then, JD was like, what y'all got next? We were like, shit, I got, I got lean with it, all right? So at the time, I had a group called Ben Hill Squad. They was on it. I had a group called 10. I had Young Nut on it, you know what I'm saying? And then we had Lil' Char, Charlie from Baker Road. That's like my little project, my dog. You see what I'm saying? I was pulling up on my wing. So I had him on it. And I put my dog, Shouted Black from Trap Squad on the song. And I put him on the song because... Them was all the hot groups in the pool palace at that time. This before this music shit popping. This before all these groups start coming to the pool palace to do music. This is the beginning. This is when street niggas didn't even come because it was always some shit at the pool palace. All right. So I put them on the song. Then we put the song back out, and then the song becomes the number one song. And that's when everybody else hear. That's when Fat Joe hear it. All right. I put on my story. The first white TV video we ever fucking shot. This is before we even had a deal with Universal, before we even had talks of a new deal, of a deal, all right? The first white TV video, the one y'all ain't never seen, is nobody has ever seen this white TV video, all right? It's not the white TV video y'all seen. And on this white TV video, we doing the lean with it, rock with it. We doing the pool palace, and we doing the motorcycle. All on this same video, all right? But at the time, they was just dancers. They ain't have no fucking name to them. So my group Ben Hill Squad was on this song, um, talking about getting jiggy. Jiggy was a little dance everybody was doing, and and on the song Jiggy he was saying that he he said on the song I lean and I rock, you know what I'm saying? Talking about him dancing and shit, and it set a light bulb in my head, and I was just like, oh shit, I'm gonna put that 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 name right there to this motherfucking song. Only thing I did was add snaps because at the time K Rod had the snap going crazy in the beat. K Rod had the snap going crazy in the pool palace. He started on Metro and he was putting them on everything, so that became a wave. So that's how the snaps came in the lane with it, rock with it. You see what I'm saying? I get the idea. I say, boom, I'm, I'm gonna do this. And at the time, ain't nobody else on did this dance at all, at all. So I call everybody. Hey, boy, I got. I want you on the song. 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 I picked my homeboy book 
uh, and I said, Buck, I want you to make the beat. So I literally handpicked everybody on the song, called everybody, went to Spanish Trace on the east side. This is Wednesday. We recorded the song, left the motherfucking goddamn track, Spanish Trace, took that shit straight to the pool palace, performed the song 20 times, lean with it, rock with it, came, became an instant fucking hit. All right? Instant hit. All right? So when Fat Joe keeps saying subconsciously that we had it had to be some type of similarities listen dog i told you the first time we didn't get it from you but you still want to fucking push listen i'm gonna tell y'all something everybody keeps saying Polly, why you were so upset and angry on your fucking video and your lip was twitching and all that listen my niggas three things you can't say four things you can't do when it come to me all right slow it down it's three things you can't say four things you can't do when it come to me you can't say i'm a thief you can't say i'm a snitch you can't say i'm a punk and you can't lie on me Joe did two on. Um. You said I stole my dog. And you lied on me. So that's where the testosterone came from. Because I'm a real street nigga. And I take my street cred and what I say in my work very, very serious. I don't line 95% of my raps. <laughs> For everybody who playing. If you know anybody in Atlanta, man, call them and ask them about me, dog. Check, check my shit, dog. You know what I'm saying? Check my shit, bro. My street credit, my street credit and record, my nigga, is impeccable. My street record and my motherfucking name, my nigga, is impeccable, nigga. State to state, nigga, not just in Atlanta. Not just on the west side, not just on Bankhead. East, south, and north. I've been moving around this motherfucker forever. My nigga I ain't never had a problem with nothing, nigga. <laughs> Joe ain't, and, 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 and Joe keeps saying it like, and I don't want y'all to think, it, this ain't no New York and South thing. I just make the comment that we don't listen to up North niggas. So how could I be influenced by up or North nigga? We didn't listen to the rap. I'm, listen, I want people to understand this. When I keep saying I'm from the West Side Bank here, I want people to really understand, bro. We like we are we are third country. We we do our own shit. We got our own everything, my dog. We don't listen to other niggas' music. We didn't listen to the East Side niggas' music. We didn't listen to the South Side niggas' music. I'm from Born Home. I barely listen to niggas' music who weren't from my projects. I didn't listen to no fucking radio, my nigga. We had mixed CDs. I go up to the, I go up to Toe Jam and, the, and Bankhead in the front of Bar Home and get all the songs I want on the mix CD. And I bump that in my car. We don't listen to no fucking radio, my nigga. Like, come on. So this ain't a North and the South thing. But if a nigga want to speak on it like that, shit, Fat Joe, you didn't really start popping until the South stood behind you. You had to come down here and get Cool and Dre, Scott Storch, DJ Khaled. You came to Miami, start getting these, these, these beats. The South nigga stood behind you, Joe. And then your rap, your personal rap career started taking off, my nigga. You see what I'm saying? Your personal rap career started taking off. You see what I'm saying? So, like, it, 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 it ain't one of them things. Nigga, ask Khaled. Nigga, Khaled came to the project. Khaled wanted to shoot a video. I did it for my dogs. With Ace Hood, Buster Rhymes, all of them. They call some niggas, say they want to they wanna shoot in the projects in Atlanta. All right? When they get to the niggas, the niggas take these niggas to some suburb type shit. So some more niggas, some niggas who know street niggas, they call like me like, hey, Paul, man, I want to bring these niggas to the, to the nine and shoot a video. You know what I'm saying? I say, cool. You know what I'm saying? I let Cal and them come to that motherfucker. Shut the whole fucking hood down. I ain't let no police in, no cars in there. Matter of fact, yo got it pulled up in the... Uh, Yo got it pulled up in the Rolls Royce. No nigga won't even let yo got in, my dog. Until I told him, yeah, let God in. French was there. Meat Mill was there. Buster was there. Ace Hood was there. <laughs> Ask them niggas on YouTube. It's called Palais No Fly Zone. Go pull it up. <laughs> Go pull this shit up, dog. Ain't no cap on this shit, Brian. I'm not one of you other niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? I do this shit for real. So, like, stop all the cap, Joe. You're reaching, my nigga, but you got Tyrannosaurus Rex arms, bro. Stop reaching, dog. 
You know what I'm saying? And when a real nigga tell you, hey, my nigga, I ain't get that from you, or I ain't say that, or I ain't do that, my nigga, take a real nigga word, bro. Start trying to push your own narrative on a nigga because you feel like you look stupid in public. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now, dog. Check this shit, bro. I don't, I don't do no no flexing, no flies, and I don't do all that, bro. I don't do all that. Niggas been knowing me forever. I don't do the internet shit. The only time y'all hear me speak is when, nigga do one of, when a nigga do one of them four things I just told y'all. It's the only time y'all hear me speak. When a nigga do one of them four things, you're going to hear from me. You're going to hear from me. Other than that, my nigga, I got a phone. My nigga, I got Instagram. You can hit me and call me and, and we can chop it up about whatever problem you got. I ain't come with all that testosterone. wrong. You see what I'm saying? I'm a real nigga, bro. And I'm intelligent. I ain't no stupid ass nigga either. You know what I'm saying? So like, come on now, Joe. Like, come on now, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Now, salute everything you did. And yeah, we did make a reference in you in the front, in the song, Lean With It, Rock With It. You know what I'm saying? Because your, you, your song was a big song. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not going to act like I never heard the song before. Because at the time the song was out, the song was popping. Like I say, ain't no hate in my blood, my nigga. But nigga didn't get that shit from you, my nigga. <laughs> you sound worse than Fabo, bro. Uh, Fabo got a better argument, goddamn. At least Fabo was there. At least Fabo had something to do with what we had going on. And he he contributed to that shit. You see what I'm saying? And then our music was so big, my nigga, we got our own genre. Listen, in two years, in two years, from 2002 to 2004, the west side of Atlanta, Bankhead to be exact, music was so big, we got two genres, trap and snap. We got our own genres, my nigga. So why the fuck we got a copy after a nigga when we are setting trends, my nigga, trailblazing? I don't understand it. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, my dog shot the black. Shot the black, tap the fuck in. What shot the black at? Because shot the black was on the song. Shot the black was on Lean With It, Rock With It. You know what I'm saying? Actually, Shout the Black was one of the people that I took off. You know what I'm saying? Off the song. And like he came off, off, it's just off by default, really. You see what I'm saying? And I told him that we talked about this. You see what I'm saying? I don't burn bridges either. You know what I'm saying? If I don't fuck with a nigga, he'll puss ass nigga, he'll hoe ass nigga. If, if you seen a nigga with me and he ain't with me no more, or I don't talk to him, he's a puss ass nigga and a hoe ass nigga, and I stand on it. I promise you that. I promise you that. Nah, it's okay. And then, like, listen, I want everybody who fuck with me and everybody from the city to understand this, too. Niggas don't got to say fuck Joe. You know what I'm saying? Because if I was in his situation and I didn't know all the information that I know, too, I would probably feel like that, too. You see what I'm saying? I would probably feel like that, too. So I understand where he's coming from. And, you know, he DM'd me. You know what I'm saying? He said it's all love. You know, he ain't mean no mile. No, no, no. He ain't mean he want no way. You know what I'm saying? When he said it. And I told her I didn't take it as no way for real. You see what I'm saying? But like I just said, four things you can't do, my dog. Three things you can't say, one thing you can't do, my nigga. I mean, what three things you can't say, four things you can't do, bro. You see what I'm saying? And I love New York niggas. I got family in New York. I be in New York all the time. Shot that boy Jim Jones. I was on I was on balling. Jim Jones took me off balling. <laughs> I was on balling. I was on just balling. We fly high. Yeah, I was on balling too. Jim took me off balling. You know what I'm saying? So I got a lot of New York ties. This ain't no, you know what I'm saying? And I've been fucking with Jada for fucking years, years, years. You see what I'm saying? And I don't know music shit. You see what I'm saying? So like, hey man, quit the cap, man. I'm one of those. I'm not one of them. I'm one of those. I'm not one of them, fat. Joey, I'm not one of them, Joey. I'm one of those. <laughs> I ain't one of them, my dog. For sure that. But black at black, you gotta send the you gotta send the goddamn thing. Black to jump to jump in that shit. But boy, black say got something to say. Especially about the whole little movement. Cause these niggas been getting beside themselves. These niggas been getting beside themselves. Yeah, they been getting beside themselves. Then I heard Eric, bro, I swear out of the past, out of the past three, four, five years, I swear on everything I love. I done heard, I done heard like five, six niggas say they started this movement. And I swear to God, y'all, when this shit first started, I never seen none of these niggas. I, I never seen none of these niggas. These niggas weren't at the pool palace. These niggas wasn't what these niggas call outside right now. They won. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that man, stop all that capping, man. I wish y'all could have got on him a little early, like yesterday, like the, when he did that shit a day or two ago. I be having shit going. <laughs> I 
man, we the knockout kings of comedy. This your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Scroncho, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You know, I know me old. He's fucking with lambskin condoms. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oldies, you should eat this. We don't know what the that meat is. Yeah. For real, I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my sister. Ain't no point of both of us get. I step up, look him right in his eyes. He go to pat me down. Pop, 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 pop. $20, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no, sir. First of all, can I ask y'all a personal question? Is this microphone really necessary? At this Punchline, punchline, punchline. Get out of the car. Give me a second.